Good Sunday afternoon. It is shopping day or one of many shopping days, but it's a big one. We got a lot of necessities because we were running low on a lot of different foods. Sorry, I wasn't totally in the frame that second. Um, so let's get into it. I want to get to the cold stuff. Not that much because I want to get it into the cooler. It is a beautiful day outside. So if you hear birds and whatnot chirping, it's because it's a gorgeous day. So we open up the house. Why not? Anyhow, one of I know, I haven't gotten there. Oh, sorry. Quit micromanaging. Sorry. You've already gotten in trouble twice for that. Um, but this first haul that I'm gonna do is all these, and then I'm gonna do a... You okay in there? Yeah, I'm laughing. Okay, sorry. then I'm gonna do a Walmart haul. Pain in my rumpus she can be. The first item that has to go into a cooler is some boneless chicken thighs. We use this for a lot of different recipes, keto and Nordic. Let me just get this in the refrigerator for a moment. I actually got home from the grocery store about 45 minutes ago, but because of other important things that need to be done, I'm trying to do this quickly so I don't get too much meltdown. Second one I'm gonna do real quick to get into the freezer is, Dre wanted some more keto ice cream, but they didn't have the peanut butter fudge she wanted, so I told her what they had, and she opted for the cookie dough. So, and then I'm gonna do one other thing before I run to the big freezer. We use our, I call them filet mignons, but they're called bacon-wrapped chuck tender filets. Um, these are, Basically, we have four of them total, and we cook all four of them at the same time. Sometimes we have leftovers, sometimes we don't. It depends on how hungry me and Jerry ha um, happen to be. Mom only eats one, and we try to flatten it out so it cooks all the way through. All right, moving on down the line of cold stuff so I can get it in their proper places. We like kibasi. We can have, we sometimes have kibasi with breakfast. Sometimes we have kibasi with just a quick and easy snack food item. We got regular Polish kibasi and a sacrilege turkey kibasi. I'll eat it, but I think it's sacrilege. And last but not least of the things that need to go into a freezer as soon as possible. This house eats a lot of sausage. We also eat a lot of eggs. So I picked up six of these brown and serve um, sausage, 10, 10 per box. They're great for breakfast. I, I mean, I can put them on the side for um, French toast or waffles or pancakes or what I like to do every so often is I'll heat up a couple of these chop them up put them in my scrambled eggs and just have a homemade egg you know scrambled bowl Now for the fun stuff. In order to have a good, nice, power, power, power-filled breakfast, you need eggs. Eggs is one of those food items that you can have any time of the day. Um, cook them any way you want to. Put them in in baked goods or whatnot. Unfortunately, Aldi's is having a limitation of two per, 
two per person or two per family? I can't. It just said, you know, a limited two. So I got two. Down. Oh. Sorry about those interruptions. They have to happen because those items I just dealt with had to go in the refrigerator. Um, I didn't want them to get too warm. Granted, it's a nice 64 degrees in the house. Or 64 or 65 degrees in the house, something like that. It's a lovely day. Moving along the line. Jerry wants some wine, so she asked me to pick up a bottle of this, I'm trying to find the camera, peach wine. Um, I'm not a big fan of peach wine. I don't even know what kind of wine I have in the uh, pantry, but I'm out of mead, so yeah. I might have to tell my taste buds tough luck. But anyhow, we'll see. I don't know. I ran out of these. These are my favorite. These nice, you know, Fiber One lemon bars. 90 calories. It's a great snack item, breakfast item, quick grab to go. Middle of the night, you wake up, you got the munchies. Hey, let's just grab something like this. And it satisfies me. Oh, uh, Jerry was talking to me about a review on the cinnamon ones. Uh, Fiber One has a cinnamon um, 90 calorie little bar there. They're good. They almost remind me, if they had just a little bit more of the cinnamon stuff in the middle, it would almost remind me of a cinnamon Pop-Tart. Um, I usually have the, the cinnamon Pop-Tarts with no, no, no glazing on top. So those are comparable. They're pretty good. Um, we needed carrots. We use carrots for a lot of our dishes. Um, a lot of the keto dishes, our egg roll in a bowl, um, which we haven't done in a while. Um, some of my, some of the recipes I've seen that I'm, I'm thinking about trying soon calls, calls for a carrot. What? Two bread sandwich. Oh yeah, the two bread sandwich. Um, basically asked for a shredded carrot. So, I actually had uh, seen I was watching someone on TikTok who's from Norway, and he makes the same kind of the omelet that I make, the Norwegian style omelet, but he adds shredded carrot to his. So I'm gonna try that. We also needed radishes. We were out of radishes. I have a couple recipes that call for radishes. Um, Mom will eat maybe a little bit, but she won't eat as much as me and Jerry. We need a string bean, so I got French cut string beans. They're not really cut, they're just called French French beans. I guess it's because of the size and shape of the, the bean itself. Um, Jerry wanted some more Brussels sprouts. We do like these. We um, will half them or quarter them and we'll uh, basically put um, seasoning on them and broil them. Jay found the recipe that basically calls for parboiled or half cooked um, Brussels sprouts and you mash them in a container, a jar or bowl or something like that with garlic on top. And then you, you put that on a parchment paper on a cookie sheet and then sprinkle um, Parmesan and uh, mozzarella cheese. It was delicious. Um, another staple in this house we're getting, uh, I'm getting, I love them, is we buy two different types of mushrooms. Baby portobellas, which is used for a lot of different foods that Jerry makes, and white button mushrooms, which when we go to have steak or certain kinds of meat products or certain recipes, um, sauteed mushrooms with butter and garlic. Oh, yeah. Um, we were out of onions, so Jerry asked me to pick up some sweet Vidalia onions, so I got a small package of those. And 
we were gonna have um, the other day we were having steak, the uh, those little fillets that I showed you, and we didn't have any baking potatoes, so I had to make something. I made a uh, gratin. So of course, and I'm probably gonna tell mom to take half these potatoes because we don't use them that often, because Jerry can't have them, and I. I don't think I want baked potato every night of the week for the next month because there's a lot of, this is a, what is this, a 10 pound bag worth of potatoes. So I figured I might just grab some of the potatoes out of here that I want and tell mom to give the rest to her friend Carla. Um, we try to give some extra food to her when we know we're not going to use all of it. So it's a, it's a win-win situation. Anyhow, um, if you like this particular uh, Aldi's haul, um, go ahead and do your thumbs up, thumbs down. Any questions or comments about the items that we got, go ahead and put them in the comment box. And if you're new to my channel, you can hit the subscribe button and see a variety of different types of videos. I mean, look at all my, look at the list of videos I've done in, in the last month. Um, there's a quite a variety in there. And if you, uh, you know, you hit the subscribe button and a little bell pop up, click on that bell and YouTube will let you know when I put in my next video. So until next time, have a good day. Enjoy. Bye, Hi everybody. It is Sunday. Um, this will be my second uh, grocery haul of the day. Um, What's today? May not, uh, May twenty ninth. I don't know what day it is. Oh, it's the thirtieth. Okay. Um, this is from Walmart, and I'm gonna go ahead and start with the cold stuff so I can put it away. The pro, the, the especially the freezer stuff. Um, Jerry needed another bag of cauliflower rice, which I'll be honest with you, the way we make cauliflower rice, if we add any ingredients, it's, it's quite delicious. Um, we had bourbon chicken, uh, some bourbon chicken last night with cauliflower rice, and it was actually pretty good. It does not alter taste that much. I mean, I do, because I have a refined crazy palate, I can tell it was in there, but it was not objectionable to me, and I'm usually a picky person. Try not to be, but I am. Um, then Jerry got some breakfast items. And they're four grams of net carbs per sandwich. Grain-free cheese bread. Ooh, cheese bread. And they're called Real Good. It has 22, 22 grams of protein per sandwich. And the first one she got is a sausage, egg, and cheese, and cheddar cheese sandwich type deal. Basically, it's microwavable. You put it in a special sleeve and nuke it. And then she also got one that is cauliflower cheesy bread um, with three net grams of carbs per sandwich and 19 net Gram, uh, 19 grams of protein per sandwich and it, it looks like a, almost like a um it almost looks like a mcgriddle from mcdonald's give me a moment while i throw these in the refrigerator where do you want these breakfast sandwiches you want to see the breakfast sandwiches because i might have to uh shove those in here shove these in there and Rearrange the pieces. I don't think there's going to be enough room in the basket. Really good size too, okay. Do you want the basket? You said. Um, it's got some room. It's got. Like I said you have to rearrange it a little bit. Probably about as big as a pancake. And the last thing that goes in the freezer, I just realized it as I was coming back in the room. Jane got some more of these pecan smoked wingettes or drumsticks. What are they called? Chicken wings. Okay, they call them chicken wings. But I know they've got the little drumsticks. And um, I'll be honest with you, these are really good. If you want, like, you know, you can throw a, little, uh, a couple of them on a, a cookie sheet and throw them in the oven for a few minutes. They're really good. Jerry actually eats these without sauce. Now, I'm a sauce person, so I'll put sauce on them but they are delicious. Another thing going after the freezer, even though it's not a 911, we bought two blocks. Can I say something? 
That's the only kind of butter I will ever have in my house, unless it's for cooking. What's that, babe? Can you tell everybody that the wings are 20 for $5? Oh. You get 20, a 20 count wing for $5, so that's 40 so, wings for $9.99. So basically she got this whole bag for $9.99. This whole bag. 20, what is it, 20 wings? Yep. 20 wings. Nine dollars and uh, ten bucks. That's a steal. Yeah, because when we get wings, it's order out there. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, that's what I right. Yeah, that's what I Okay, moving like right along. Refrigerator goods. Jerry wanted, I don't know if it was for Jerry. Is this for me or you? I don't know what it is, Jen. The Italian sweet cream. Uh, it's for us. It's for okay. us. It's definitely different. She got us uh, Italian sweet cream because the, the shelf stable creamer we got in bulk, it's, it's all right. It's just, um, well, for me, it's different because it, it it has no real true sweet uh, flavor to me, even though it says sweet cream on it. But it's it's by Splenda, and to me, Splenda is not really all that sweet. I know it's supposed to be a sugar alternative, but it's not sweet enough for me. So um, I've been using a lot of like um, flavored syrup. Flavored syrup. Thank you, hun. Um, to add the extra sweetness, especially the English toffee. Um, we only got two bottles of that English toffee, and if Jerry doesn't start drink, uh, having some of it, it, she ain't gonna get none. Um, so, yeah. And then, Jerry ordered this on online, and she also put it in the uh, Aldi's order, and I don't know if I uh, showed it to you, but she forgot to tell me to take it off the Aldi's order. It's basically cold brew coffee. Now I had this once with the sweet, uh, the Italian sweet creamer, and it was delicious. Um, Jerry couldn't have too much creamer in it because the fact that it was just way too sweet for her. But I did it on purpose. Saturday. I know. All right, now that we're done running back and forth. Oh, no, we're not. Hey. There's two other things that need to go in the refrigerator. Um, this one thing, I had to ask Jerry about it, and she had to read the package. It, it was, basically her sister told her to try it. It is called Pasta Zero Spaghetti Pasta. And it's made with shiitake... Shirataki. Shirataki noodles. They're shirataki noodles. Not to be confused with Yeah. Shiitake They're not, yeah. That's what I thought at first. I was like, oh, they're, they're pasta made out of mushrooms. No. It's a type of process to make the noodles. It's a, basically it's an Asianic health food. Yeah. So it's not real, like... It's an Asian potato. It's a type of Asian yeah. potato that is healthy for you. It's That's a, what I kind of described in the thing, sorry. That's all right. Um, so for anybody who happens to be a friend of Jerry Ann or has methods of talking to Jerry Ann. You can ask her more about these than I can. Um, she read me the packaging and I was just kind of like, you're confusing the crud out of me. Is it a mushroom? Is it a potato? What is it? It's a mixture of the two, I think. No. What is it, Jerry? It's a plant, it is an Asian plant that is, they call a type of potato, but it's low in carbs. It's and an Asian potato with low carbs? Oh, it's potato like. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's a tuber. It's, no, I don't know. It's just that's, I read the back of the package to them. I can't without my glasses. Oh, I didn't know you didn't have your glasses. Oh. So I can't read the back of this. So. Okay. But sorry. it's an Asian noodle made with a potato like tuber. That's the only yeah, way I can. It's a tuber. Well, well if it's potato like, it's got to be something out of the ground because. Well, it could be like, like jicama. Jicama is not. Not true. Jicama is not, not a tuber. Right. Tuber. Anyhow, it's, it's a healthy noodle. It's yeah. not a wheat noodle. It's not a pot. It's not like regular pasta where you blend 
glutens with starches and blah, blah, blah. Exactly. That's the only way I could describe it. Um, we were at a ham, so we got one pound. They put it in two half pound packages, but one pound worth of my Black Forest ham, which I eat a lot of. Sometimes I don't eat it in sandwiches. Sometimes I'll like cut it up or dice it up or whatnot, throw it in with my scrambled eggs or something along that line. Jerry needed some more turkey, so she got some more a pound worth of turkey. And we were out of the garlic bologna because I eat that like it's going out of style. So she decided instead of buying a one pound, she bought, is it two pounds? No. Yeah. I thought it said two pounds. No, it's a pound. Okay, she changed on me. I thought it was two pounds, but then it looks like more like one pound. Did you get two no. Oh, okay. No, I think they had to press slice it because it's not sealed like uh, the ham yeah, is. No, it's to be fresh, so it's okay, cool. I prefer fresh slice. The only one substitute that, that we had to deal with with Walmart was Jerry ordered me uh, a snack, a deli, si a deli style snack pack of uh, Starkless Tuna, and they were out. So they substituted it with a Bumblebee Snack on the Run Tuna Salad Kit with crackers. And the only difference between tuna, uh, the Starkless and the Bumblebee is, I, I really couldn't really, could not really tell you unless I sat down and had a taste comparison, but I do notice the difference in Bumblebee Tuna compared to Starkus. So it might be their processing system or the, um, whether they use water or olive oil. I'll be honest with you, the Starkless Tuna Kits that come like this, that are in olive oil, to me, tastes a whole lot better than the ones made with water. But because this is a pre-made kit and everything's already mixed in, um, I think the only difference between Starkus and Bumblebee is Starkus doesn't put vegetable like diced carrots or celery or anything like that. They just tuna, uh, tuna and the um, mayo or or tartar sauce that they might use. So it might if it has anything in the um, Starkus kits, it's just pickle relish, no carrots. Um, but then because I'm out of my um, snack packs of tuna, Jerry bought me. Two of the lemon pepper, which I love. I put that on bread. I literally spread that on bread sometimes if I don't eat it straight out of the package. Then she also ordered me um, two things of garlic and herb, which I also love on, on a sandwich. And then, um, I don't know if she ordered this for herself or me or what, but there are actual snack packs with a little spoon in the top area. Um, one is like sandwich in a second, just regular tuna salad. And the other one is lemon sesame and ginger type deal um whether i eat those or she eats them first whatever um they're great they're great alternatives to making your own tuna fish or just something to grab and go when you're either on the run or you're you don't know what you want but you want something good it's a quick it's a quick snack lunch type deal or because it's pre-portioned, I'll tell you what, you get like um, um, sourdough bread, rye bread, or you know, the whiter, the bread that's a little bit whiter than your average sliced bread. It makes a perfect sandwich for a kid's lunch. You can pull out the package, scoop the, the tuna out, put it on a slice of bread, spread it just right, slap the other piece of bread together, put it in a sandwich bag or whatnot, since you know to school your kids unless they want to have the bumblebee which has its own little spoon so you can just send the whole thing to the to school with the kid and the kid can just eat it out of the package um jerry wanted to make i guess she's wanting to make some more white chocolate mousse a keto friendly version so she got herself a little package of jello white chocolate um she also needed i guess her favorite electrolyte water which is strawberry kiwi so she got some more of that we were running low on vitamin e so we got a little thing of vitamin e um let me get all my other stuff ready 
we always have a backup bottle of all natural just uh, crunchy peanut butter. Jerry eats this like a snack. She'll take just a you know a spoon and have a couple of spoonfuls, put the lid back on, put the peanut butter off the side, and be satisfied. So it kind of helps curb her cravings for certain kind of food items, so she's not eating the wrong stuff. Um, we were running low on our sugar-free syrup. It's kind of a staple in this house. Um, Ma Mom gets regular uh, butter syrup, so she'll get that for herself. Um, Jayanne and I prefer the sugar-free. It tastes, tastes just as good as regular syrup. It's just, um, if I want it to be more buttery, I'll um, take a pat, uh, you know, slice a chunk of uh, Kerrygold butter and slap it on my um, pancake, French toast, or waffles. The fun thing about the waffles, you end up using more butter than you really need, which gives it an even more buttery flavor, but I like it that way. Um, Jerry Ann and I are trying to drink, well, Jerry Ann is trying to get me to drink more electrolyte water. So we got one bottle of the Powerade Zero Sugar Grapes, um, two bottles of the Fruit Punch. I think this is Fruit Punch, yeah. And then she got herself, because I don't think I'll ever drink this, is White Cherry Powerade. Um, so she got two bottles of that. It's a great way to get electrolytes in your system. If you're, whether it's low energy or your diet doesn't have a lot of natural electrolytes in it, um, electrolyte, electrolyte water or Gatorade, Powerade, anything like that that might be sugar-free might be something you might need in your house just to keep your energy levels going so you don't feel like foggy brain or just de-energized. Electrolytes are a very important part of um, the human diet. We got two ears of corn on the cob. I'm think, I, I guess Jerry is thinking about um, lighting up the barbecue and we love doing this. What we use it, what we do with these, there's two ways to do this. You can leave it in the skin and shuck it after you cook it. But what we like to do is we like to shuck it, you know, peel it, all the skins and hairs and whatnot, slather it up with butter, and then we put um, either taco seasoning or some kind of seasoning on the corn, wrap it up in tinfoil, and then throw it on our barbecue. It's great. It's delicious. It's basically homemade Tex-Mex corn. And then, oh yeah, we don't put cheese on it. We might sprinkle, I might, well, I might sprinkle cheese after it's been cooked, but I don't know. We just don't do the cheese part. Jared decided to get herself an eggplant. I don't know if she's planning on making eggplant parmesan for herself or something like that. Eggplant is one of the few vegetables that I still do not like. I've tried it, I've eaten it, and I'm like, no, no. One of the reasons why is uh, most people who make eggplant, it becomes either really gushy and mushy, and I'm not a big fan of mushy vegetables. If I wanna have vegetables, I want it to be just cooked enough where it's not starting to soften, but still, ha it's starting, uh, no, excuse me, let me re-explain really that. It's cooked enough where it's starting to soften, but it still has a, a crunch to it, so it's not totally mush. Um, it's one of the reasons why if we get like fresh broccoli in here in the house instead of microwave broccoli, I'm like steam it to just the right perfection and then season it with whatever we're gonna season it with. Um, yeah, that's, that's, oh, no. I'm trying to hide something on, 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 bleh, I can't talk all of a sudden. I'm trying to hide something on you guys because it's right here in my face, but we have a method to this now. This is my favorite drink. And um, now that I'm not working as much as I used to, so I don't have free reign or, or can drink soda to my heart's content at work, we're trying to, ha you know, we're allowing me to have soda, but we're trying to control the, um, mm, excuse me, amount that I drink per day. Um, I'm not gonna open up the, this today because I went out and bought myself one. But what we used to do, and I need to go back to it, but I'm afraid to, the last time I, I 
cut the box open, I accidentally cut one of the cans, and surprisingly enough, the can blew. But what we what we tried to do, we tried to open up the box and expose the the underside of the can and write dates on there. So it's like one a day, basically. It's like have one, have one. Call me in the morning. Um, so yeah, we are controlling my um, soda consumption as best as we can. So I'm not like just drinking soda all day. In fact, um, probably once I'm done with this small little bottle, I will probably be drinking um, Gatorade or cold brew coffee or something like that. But anyhow, um, that's it. That is truly now everything from Walmart. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments about my haul, um, go ahead and put it in the comment box. I will try to get, I try to answer your questions to the best of my ability. Um, if you enjoyed this video or liked other videos similar to it or any of my other videos um, in the in the past, uh, and you decide today that you wanted to subscribe, one thank you very much. Uh, but you just click on that subscribe button, and once you do that, a little bell will pop up, and click on that bell, and YouTube will let you know when I put it in my next video. So until next time, have a good day. Enjoy. Bye.